Is that gonna fit? <laughs> Hey everybody, so today we are doing a video that I'm actually so excited about. We are going to be buying an Amazon return box today. For those of you who don't know what that means, Amazon has probably the best customer service of all time and their return policy is almost a little absurd. They will basically take anything that you are unhappy with for any reason back and refund your money. Now, what happens to those returns? Well, I thought originally that if the item was in okay condition, they would just fix it up, rebox it, and then push it back out there. But they don't do that unless the item is in pristine, like almost brand new condition. They actually send all of those returns to a liquidation facility where they are then bundled up by like genres or categories of items and then auctioned off to the highest bidder. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Well, there's a lot of potential there. So if you wanted to, you could just get a lot of items or items that you were thinking about getting for a significant discount and they are just either open box or maybe in slightly worse condition and you probably aren't even gonna notice that. The other reason you might wanna do that is maybe you are very knowledgeable in a specific market for items and you wanna flip something and make a little extra cash and then finally, maybe you see an item that you actually want and everything else that comes in that bundle, you can resell to help pay for the item that you wanted. I don't have a ton of experience in this, which I think is perfect for you guys because now you'll see if this is actually that difficult or something that you can jump into right away after watching this video. Now I have done a little bit of research on this concept, which is why the idea came to me in the first place. And I've seen some other YouTubers take it on, but in my opinion, they were either one, really boring with their delivery, and number two, didn't really talk about the fee and shipping that actually goes into buying these auction pallets. I'm hoping that I can show that information and make it a little bit more transparent for you guys and hopefully we can still have a good time and figure out if this is something worth doing. Liquidation.com is what we're gonna be using. I have no idea if Amazon actually takes their liquidation bundles and has them sold to other places. But from what I can tell, this is the main place where you can find their items. We're just gonna go ahead and click on computers and networking because I think if we try to get any more specific, we might miss out on something in a really cool bundle. So here we have a motherboard. I can see the Z370. This is actually the same motherboard I'm using in my computer right now. Electronics, Asus Prime Z370A. All right, right off the bat, these pictures are really shitty. Like these are zoomed in and you can't see everything in there. I can tell here, view manifest. Okay, cool. So they actually tell you everything that's going to come in this bundle. This is cool. They actually tell you the MSRP of the item. This is kind of clickbaity. You can tell they're actually showcasing the number one item first and they actually put it in the picture. If we look closer here, as I'm scrolling down here, I'm not gonna read everything. You guys can pause the video and look at that if you want. But a lot of this is crap for the most part. Clearly, they're just throwing in a bunch of other things in this palette. And right now the bid, $420 is what you'd have to bid. It's going for $410. And they're saying the manufacturer's suggested retail price is just under $2,000. I mean, I don't think one motherboard plus some Xbox controllers it looks like is worth $420. So we're probably not gonna get that one. Okay, so you can filter it by condition, region, the lot size, the... W Wait, what? Why is there a warehouse in Las Vegas? Wait a second. This is in Las Vegas? I Okay, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm from Las Vegas. We're here, I, I'm here right now. If I buy something from Las Vegas, does that mean I don't have to pay shipping? Okay, I talked about this earlier in the video. If you're buying a large bundle like this, it's gonna be like 50, 100, 200 pounds of crap. So shipping for something that large is gonna cost you like, hundreds of dollars. After sign forms are returned, the buyers provided the pickup location. I can actually just pick this shit up. Oh my. I'm sorry, enough of that. Okay, so here, let's look at some of the other specs here. Condition salvage. So this is concerning. Obviously, if you see the word salvage, you're assuming it's for parts. Salvage assets have been identified as defective for reasons concerning their functionality, appearance, or both. Wait, what does that mean? Functionality, appearance or both. So it could just be their appearance. Like someone could have just sent back like a cracked open box. So basically you're paying for a mystery box and there's no guarantee if this shit works. 
I like it actually. This is kind of like a Craigslist meetup. This is not that different. There's just a little bit of sketchiness on whether or not the person who returned the product to Amazon was uh, trying to scam the system or not. Now it's like a little bit of a gambling game. Now we're really in Las Vegas. So let's just take a look at uh, what we're actually gonna bid on. Computers, memory storage units, MSRP, 2,500 bucks. Monitors, LG, Samsung, Dell, 23 to 38 inches. So some of these are ultra wide. Asus, Dell, more monitors. Is that a Nintendo Switch? Do you manifest? Wait, the Nintendo Switch isn't listed on there. That's like a $200, $300 item. Yeah, it's right there. So wait, is this a part of the bundle or is it not? It's in the picture, but it's not in the list. All right, so I have 15 bundles here. They're gonna sell in the next 24 hours that look like they have a decent amount of potential. And my first auction is in four hours and 21 minutes. Okay, all right, sleep in four hours tonight, cool. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get some sleep and then I'm gonna wake up and first thing we're gonna do is see if we can get some decent parts. All right, I just woke up. All right, fuck it, fuck it. Place the bid. I have to add a credit card? Oh my. No, no one else bid on it too. I've made sure that my credit card is linked to my account now, so no more bullshit. It looks like someone's just barely outbid me. And from what I can tell, this thing, to me at least, is worth maybe around 500 if it works. I mean, it's worth well more than that, but I'm willing right now to go at least 500. Maximum bid, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show my bid. I'm gonna go 300 flat. I'm gonna just let them know. So thanks for the bid. You are currently the highest bidder. Cool. Four seconds. Did I win? Yes, I think I won. I think I won. I think I won. So second listing, $404 estimated value, $1,600. Not a huge amount of savings. I'm gonna just try to assume that these headphones here work but I really want to know if they blatantly missed listing a Nintendo Switch in the manifest. Like, can I just not read? Like, have I not seen it this whole time? Oh, yes, okay, I, I just got the email notification right now. I am the winner of that first auction, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that one. Is this legit? Can we finesse a Nintendo Switch? We'll do, we'll do 475. If I get outbid, I'm not touching it. Shh. Oh, okay, we finessed it. All right, so $450. All right, so now we have to pay for two bundles. So from what I understand, we have to go to my account. Cool, so here on the left, you see the dashboard payment required. And we see the two listings that we paid for. Now, let's look at the monitor one first. So you see here, we bid the $300, but then here are the fees. Shipping and logistics would cost us $127. That's... That's more than a third of the actual listing. The buyer's premium, which is the 10% for the auction, I, I don't know what that 10% pays for, but it's a flat thing. And then there's the sales tax. There's no getting around the sales tax. There's no getting around the buyer's premium. All right, so the total would end up being $480. That's a lot. But what we can do is arrange your own shipping. So let's read this, I actually haven't read this yet. Upon payment, you will receive an email with the pickup location, instructions on how to schedule for pickup. All right, cool. So submit. Oh, that was easy. I just had to click submit. All right, cool. So now if we look down here, you see shipping and logistics is $0. And that brings our total back down to $356.74. So saving a lot of money by living in this wonderful gambling, alcoholic addicted town. Oh. Contact our customer support team at 1-800-498-1909. Okay, so I just have to call them. So while we're waiting for them to answer for the first package that we paid for, we have already knocked off the shipping cost for our second bundle, and we're gonna go ahead and pay for that so we can just try to pick up everything all at once. Okay, so everything's paid for. We just gotta go do pickup in two and a half hours. And here's what we're looking at so far. So we have spent, <laughs> God. We've spent $891.84, but the MSRP value of what we did purchase is over $7,000. So supposedly right now, if you do the math, we are roughly getting eight times our money's worth, but we've yet to even check any of it out yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera stuff ready and be prepared to pick up what we paid for. 
All right, so we are here at liquidation.com. I'm here with my beautiful furry friend, Max. What's up? <laughs> and now we're gonna go inside and see how we're supposed to buy this stuff. What's the name? Uh, Christopher Yee. Let me go check on your Okay. Will that fit? Barely. If we cut it open and move it, I hope. Yeah, just right here. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Is this... <laughs> 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 How do you feel? Um, it's it's a little tight. It's a little <laughs> tight. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I love you. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go run inside. You gotta say it back. Love you too, Chris. Thank Bye. you. Yo. All right, so we are finally back at the house and. I'm too excited to keep delaying this. I just really want to open these boxes. The first thing we have is half of our $535.10 bundle. Like we touched on earlier in the video, the thing that I am really, 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 really excited for is to see if that Nintendo Switch might be in here. And if that box is in here and it's not a Nintendo Switch, what did they put inside? So let's go get a pair of scissors and let's start cutting. Whoa. This is not the box that will have the Nintendo Switch in it, but that doesn't mean we should skip and go to the other one first. Moleskin pin ellipse. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is for music. Okay. We have an iPhone 7 life proof case, a universal cassette adapter for car stereos. It's like a keyboard or something. I think this is part of the laptop stand. I'm not sure. So this is our gaming router. I wonder if this will actually increase the internet speeds in the house. This is, I think this is a Bluetooth speaker. A ton of pens. <laughs> an adapter for an iPhone. We have premium selection toner cartridge. I don't even know what that is. And then lastly in this box we have, oh, okay, this is, we have instant film and a case of some sort, it looks like for headphones or a charger. Now we're gonna get to the box that you and I are probably most excited about and see if what we're hoping for is actually inside. All right, moment of truth. Oh man. Is this it? Oh my God. <laughs> It's actually in here. That is crazy. How, how did they not put that in the list? How do you mess that up? This is worth like $250, $300. And then we have these Sony WH-1000X over the ear headphones. These are supposed to be worth like $350. Like these are supposed to be quality. The headphones look completely unused. All right, so we've easily gotten our money's worth just off of the Nintendo Switch and these headphones alone. Master, Master Lock Storage Security. It's supposed to come with a key. I don't see a key. <laughs> All the post notes I could ever need for the rest of my life. Lucifer on Blu-ray. A3 High Professional Gaming Headset. <laughs> Amazon Basics. I'm not even sure what alkaline. Ghost Adventures Season 15. We have some kind of controller here. I'm not sure what console this would be for. Wireless charging power station. This is like a six foot long iPhone charging cable. Another USB cable. Support for AirPods. They have accessories for headphones, <laughs> what? More iPhone cables, colored pens. And then lastly, we have an old school Nintendo DS Lite. This thing is so old, the white is actually yellow. Oh my God, it turns on! <laughs> now comes the more exciting and scary test where uh, we start to open up our second bundle. I do have the fear that a lot of them are gonna end up not working, 
but for $350 for all the 144 hertz curved ultra wide monitors we do have out there right now, if one of them works, then I think we'll, we will have at least gotten our money back. So we're gonna bring those things in now, test them one at a time, and we'll see what we got. The first thing we have here is an LG curved ultra wide gaming monitor, 34 inches, 144 hertz. Upon inspection, I'm finding out that there is a giant scratch right here across the front of the panel, which is a little bit of a letdown, but let's see if it makes that big of a difference when this thing's actually turned on. All right. Okay. We're off to a good start. We can <laughs> clearly see why this only costs 350 bucks. So let's plug this in. No! <laughs> oh, oh. This one's not as bad. This one has this crack up here in the top right corner. Oh, God, don't, don't touch that. Oh, there's a dent. There, oh, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, this, oh. <laughs> Alexa, play Despacito. Just, just one, just let one monitor work. Oh. Yes, it works, oh my God, we got one. Oh, thank you, thank you liquidations.com. 144 hertz, ultra wide, 34 inches. This monitor, according to Amazon, apparently this thing only goes for $500. Okay, so yeah, that's like $150 more than what we paid. So just with this monitor alone, I'm really happy with the purchase. Obviously it's used, but I'm telling you, from what I can see here in person, I don't see any scratches on this monitor. So I can put this to the side and at least not be disappointed that everything we bought was a fucking fest. No way this shit works. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that a scratch? No, that's just cat hair. The plastic seal's still on here. 100 hertz? I, I gotta look this thing up. How much does this thing, how much does this cost? This thing goes for $950 on sale. This is a thousand dollar monitor. The best part about this, I mean, well, I mean, there's so many best parts about this, but this has G-Sync technology and G-Sync technology for monitors goes for so much money. With the two monitors I have now, the LG one and this Asus ROG one, I have about $1,500 worth of working monitors that I paid $350 for. So, worth, big time worth. All right, so plastic seal is still kind of on this thing. IPS 4K panel, ViewSonic. Let's turn this thing on. Oh, sh yeah. Let me zoom out here. Yeah, you guys can see what I'm talking about. So right up here, it's like kind of grayed out, but that's not bad at all. Like, this is totally usable. This is a ViewSonic VX4380 4K, 43 inch frameless widescreen IPS monitor. Okay, so this is actually a monitor. This sucks, man. It was so close to being a really good deal. But, you know, this obviously still has some value. This strip here at the top is not that big of a deal. Let me, let me play a YouTube video. I could see how this would be a little bit annoying over the course of time, but I could deal with this. All right, so what did we learn? Well, we learned that if you guys are gonna do this on your own, monitors are a gamble. There is no telling based on the salvage condition listing that appears on liquidation.com, whether or not you're gonna get a bunch of cracked pieces of crap, or if you are actually gonna get something that functions correctly. I don't know who does the inspections and why they can't just list what's down there. But obviously that risk you take uh, does help and play a factor in whether or not you're gonna get something good. So we got two of seven monitors that were completely undamaged. I, I don't really count this giant T2 
TV monitor to be undamaged because that little strip, but it is still usable. And then obviously with the smaller packages over here, like these big boxes and everything, there is room for mistakes there because clearly it was very plain to see in the picture that there was a Nintendo Switch in here. And there was no reason for the people who were putting the manifest list together of what's in this bundle to miss that. Like that is a huge big ticket item. I'm not sure how that just went unnoticed. I think it's pretty obvious that I made my money back, but if this is something that you guys are gonna choose to do on your own, I think it's gonna be up to your discretion whether or not you one, wanna take a risk on the monitors, or number two, take the time to see if what is in the pictures or what isn't on the manifest list is uh, something that you're willing to put some money on and see if it pays off. So the last thing I will say before I get going is that obviously in this video, you saw that we spent a lot more money than we usually do. I know this is a budget oriented, make money, save money channel right now with tech, but uh, I just wanted to say none of this would be possible at all if you guys were not as kind and as patient as you are with watching the videos on the channel. I, I know I put ads in the video and, and that's to help pay for this stuff. My intention, as I've said, as always with this stuff is to sell and put more money back into the bank account that helps fund this channel. And without you guys, this would not be possible. I, I, I've always wanted to do really cool stuff like this. And the fact that there are people like you out there who are willing to take your time and help support it, even just by clicking on the video. Um, it means a lot and even more so than that on the stream that we had before we shot this video um, You guys were more than kind with donations and and showing that you want to invest in and whatever this channel is becoming so I, I just want to say thank you to you guys viewers stream supporters donators all you guys you guys are um, <laughs> you, you, you guys you guys are awesome, so thank you very much um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. Um, and as always, have a great day.